afternoon. I um, I figured I thought I'd better do a um, YouTube build video. This has been a long time coming for people that follow my social medias and stuff. Um, I've got a Subaru Impreza Hawkeye that I've been racing since 2015. So 2015 started out road normal road car. Um, took it along, built it gradually up over about three years till it were pretty much, you know, as good as it could be, barring a few going all out with sequential and stuff. It were, you know, still manual gearbox and stuff like that, but it was 500 brake horsepower, prepared by Scooby Clinic. Um, so, yeah, won Jim Canner Grid Pro Am in that car in 2018 and 2019. Um, won the gym, Formula G um, gym car series in the UK won that championship in 2018 with that car uh, so yeah done me proud but I'm a firm believer that if you stand still you'll get left behind so over that way which I'm going to move over to in a minute is the new car um, I'll do that now in fact so there she is the new build for, should have been for 2020, but, you know, COVID and all that stuff. So things got put on hold a little bit. Um, and now we're raring to go for 2021 with a fair bit to do. But, you know, we'll get there. Uh, big things are going to happen the next couple of weeks. Um, Subaru's gone to be stripped of everything. So for those who don't know, this is actually... A, might look like a Corsa, but it's a Subaru Impreza. So, it's Subaru Impreza floor pan um, from a 2002 or 2001, let me just get this right, um, Bug Eye. Let's open this door. So, inside, Subaru floor pan, Subaru tunnel. Basically, it's a full Subaru chassis with... Um, it's not been shortened or anything. It's exactly as it would be it's not been cut in the middle because that don't meet regs so the reason we picked this car is if you look i mean it's not ideal at minute because as you can see it's not set up and whatever but that's going to drop down and that's going to drop down but we haven't shortened the wheelbase at all on this car this the wheelbase on the corsa is exactly the same within about two centimeters of a subaru so we wanted something that was going to be lightweight agile and fast so my car my original car is 1250 kilos nearly 1400 stock but we've probably got a couple of hundred nearly out of it um this we're hoping to be i'd like to think around 800 kilos when it's done so we're going to lose a third of the weight of the car um, sorry about all the jerkiness, it's uh, me first time really using this new gimbal that I've got. So basically I went to Belgium uh, end of 2019 and picked up this body kit. Um, so all rear quarters have been cut out of the car and replaced with fiberglass, as you can see, fiberglass side skirts, fiberglass front wings, um, fiberglass bonnet and fiberglass front bumper. Um, everything's been cut away that's not needed to make it lightweight we're getting fiberglass doors and then it's going to be perspex all round so just to make it as light as pos as you can see it's got back around this way um fiberglass boot fiberglass rear bumper um i have had comments on social media and stuff about these little um bits where it goes in at the back it's supposed to be like that it's part of body kit so I'm thinking maybe some mud flaps on there or something because I'm, I'm sort of 50-50 with it myself. Whether, I don't know, maybe that should have continued up as so the bumper were as fat as the, the, the arches. Because as you can see, those arches are absolutely massive width-wise. So, you know, coming on to that, we're going to have to go spacers or a big offset. Uh, at the minute, this is on the standard WRX bug eye suspension. And there's no weight in it at all. There is a donkey engine in there that's just to see if it fits and stuff, um, which I'll pull off in a minute and show you that. 
but yeah um it's just on the standard stuff everything off mine is going to go in it so we're going to have teen suspension teen coilovers um we can drop that probably a couple of inches from where it is now and um, which is going to bring it right down i might go 18s i don't know yet i just don't know on that i'd like to keep 17s if i can maybe i'll just come out spaces maybe 20 mil something like that just to bring them out and fill their marches out a bit but we'll see what it looks like once we've got the proper suspension on and stuff um as you can see everything's quick release sponsored by aero catch these things are so cool these panel fasteners literally just push that button in click and panel pull that and the panel will drop off um aero catch holding bonnet on and aero catch whoa gone wrong way aero catch holding boot on got four of them so that boot will just slip straight off um and then panel fasteners holding back bumper on again oh look see that got that on already oh, this bloody thing so, so, so twitchy um yeah so as you can see cobra sport on there cobra sport looked after my uh and supported me looked after my other car and supported me for about three or four years now um the exhaust is so cool i've got the um non-resonated full decat straight through freeing system on the impressor that i've got so we'll probably utilize some of that on here but obviously that would the difference in this kind of length obviously is you lose all the boot so the rear diffs just here somewhere so the exhaust on the impressor would probably sit somewhere here so we're gonna have to figure out how that's gonna come out because i definitely want it to come out of there which will look cool as all big flames flying out of that that'd be sick um i'm tempted to try and go with a screamer out of the bonnet potentially with an external wastegate so we can have massive flames flying out of bonnet but whether that'll come to realism or not i'm not 100 percent yet um so yeah as you can see full custom roll cage this is sick yeah we've got the full cage in that's and um, we've got custom built rear turrets as well rather than just a standard impressor ones um yeah full welded in roll cage uh so yeah it, it, it's where it is at the minute we we've got a lot to do um but let me just see if i can rest this somewhere and i'll show you exactly so just rest this on here let me see if i can get this to follow me there we go it'll follow me now cool bit of kit loving that love a bit of tech not really a technical person but you know anyway Oh, so. Quick release bonnet. <laughs> Look at this. It's so light. It's just ridiculous. This car is going to need strapping down if it's windy. It's going to be that light. Um, Subaru boxer engine. Lift this up. So that's where my engine will go. That'll, that'll go out. That's just a, that's a test fitted engine. So that'll come out. Um, and we'll put in my engine uh oh cool bit also no gearbox just waiting on delivery now of my x shift um full sequential box so that'll be uh, hopefully in um let's just do this again so it follows me same to me as phone and just there we go so yeah hopefully um a couple of weeks x shift will be here so that'll just that's a game changer if we can get this down anywhere near 850 800 kilos with a sequential it's going to do not 16 two seconds i'd say um it's going to be so cool i'm really looking forward to getting in this now so yeah like i say just thought i would start a little build video it's lost me um, so i thought i'd spend today just come over here <laughs> um i thought i'd just spend today figuring out you know test fitting lights um test fit seat in it um i have give it a bit of a wipe down i just really figuring out today where we need to be over the next few weeks but we know it's light we know it's built well 
it's got a cage in it, it's going to have a sequential in it, it's going to be 500 horsepower, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but you know, we'll see where we're at in a couple of weeks when stuff starts going on and we get some suspension set up because then we can see how low we can get it, whether we need to come out on um, whether we need to come out on wheels and spaces and stuff like that. I'm hoping we can just go a bit wider offset, maybe I'm not 100% yet. There's no weight in it, I mean, there's no engine, there's no gearbox, well, there's an engine, but that weighs no. But once we get in the cooler, radiator, fuel system, um, gearboxing, you're going to have 100 kilos more than what you've got now. So I'm assuming that's going to drop that front end down 20, 30 mil. Um, obviously, we can go down 40, 50 mil on suspension, so there's 60, 70 mil there straight away. Um, we're going to put a splitter on front of this nice black splitter on front of there just to bring that front end down and then again like I said on back what we do with that I don't know yet uh, I don't think there's really all else I can show you yet but I've got big plans I'm going to sort of figure out what we're going to do with bonnet vents because obviously it's not going to have a scoop because it's going to have front mount intercooler so there's no need for a Subaru traditional scoop on there so I'm not going top mount I just don't see the point of having the Subaru vent if unless it's a top mount so we're probably going to go something like a couple of side vents and then like a cooling vent flat cooling vent on the thing just to give it that aggressive look and to give it um the cooling that it needs to come out of the bonnet so th and the airflow to get through um we've got a big potential big um announcement coming on seats and stuff like that um so yeah fingers crossed that'll get sorted this week as well um so then they can go in um so yeah like i say five glass doors perspex windows i'm really undecided on what to do on spoiler um let me just take you around there um and we'll look at the spoiler what's what we're gonna do with that so um spoiler as you can see i've just put on the standard v vxr spoiler um speaking of vxr um this actual car um, I bought about two years ago as a bit of a toy, a bit of a daily driver. Um, a pretty cool bit of kit actually. It were fully forged, like 250 brake horsepower, something like that. It was a cool little car to be honest. Um, anyway, I decided to sell it, move on with this project, and I thought I'll sell that and I'll just use a standard Corsa um, shell because it didn't need to be a VXR. But found out I couldn't sell it for what it was worth because. I struggled really anyway so I ended up selling it in parts for more than I paid for it which is ridiculous so I kept the shell and used it for this um, but anyway yeah um, standard spoiler I think it does finish it off nicely but I'm also thinking should we it's, it's a cool car let's go all out with a spoiler let's make it boom in your face and I've seen these ones what go here with like a bit of a metal frame with a spoiler on and I'm at first thought we were out there but I'm just not 100% on it anymore so I've been speaking to a guy on Facebook and the guy um, he thinks you can make it I think you can make it I think it's going to be a cool bit of kit um, so we're going to go ape instead of not fixed a boot we're going to be a pillar there uh, sorry C pillar A pillar's front car these C pillars here coming out up to about maybe there with a, a fin on um, a carbon blade so it'll be like you know world rx style big spoiler um not too all over the place just literally simply two sides and a and a fit and a blade which i think could be pretty trick and look pretty cool um so yeah i mean that's where we're at um next week um it's going down to the guy who's already got the subaru and he's gonna put all my subaru stuff on this um it's gonna be savage i can't wait um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be back in a week or so with another video um, and we can see where we're at then. Peace out for now um, and look forward to my next video. Hope you watch um, and uh, see you next time.